Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers in California have identified a promising new drug target for treating leukemia. A study at the University of California San Diego School of Medicine identified a protein called LIS-1, which plays a fundamental role in the asymmetric division of hematopoietic stem cells. You don't need to know what that means to get why this is good news, which is fortunate because I don't think I do. All you need to know is the LIS-1 protein is vital for maintaining the body's blood supply. The UC San Diego study found that blocking the LIS-1 protein in leukemia cells drastically inhibited cancer growth. The scientists who conducted the study hope it will lead to the development of new therapies which target LIS-1 in cancer cells and will hopefully be less toxic to patients than many chemotherapy drugs which are currently being used which also target the cell division process. Speaking of cancer drugs, a new MIT study suggests that a drug already approved by the FDA could lead to more effective treatments of drug-resistant tumors. One of the most promising areas of cancer research is the development of drugs that use the body's own immune system to attack tumors. But while many of these immunotherapies are initially successful, tumors can return once treatment is completed. And this is due to reservoirs of cancer cells in bone marrow that are mostly unaffected by antibody drugs. Now, this MIT study suggests that a drug called cyclophosphamide, already approved for cancer treatment here in the U.S., could make all the difference. Cyclophosphamide has been found to stimulate immune response in bone marrow. Researchers conducted a study on mice that had developed lymphoma administering cyclophosphamide in combination with an antibody drug called alemtuzumab and got very encouraging results. The mice were tumor-free at the conclusion of the study. Finally, a team of researchers in Melbourne, Australia has discovered that our body's immune system not only fights cancer when it develops, but works to prevent cancer from developing in all of us on a daily basis. A study carried out by scientists at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute found that the immune system is constantly eliminating potentially cancerous immune cells from our bodies before they can develop into lymphomas. This research not only demonstrates how well equipped our bodies are to naturally fight cancer, it provides insights that could lead to tests capable of identifying potential cancers in the earliest stages of development when medical intervention would be the most effective. Scientists from across the globe learn more about a protein, a drug, and the body's innate immune surveillance system, all of which promises newer, less dangerous, and more effective cancer treatments in, hopefully, the near future. It was a bad week for cancer, and that's the good news. Yes, I know, I know. What do you think? You want to do it about ten more times?